There is a place where things have remained unchanged for centuries. Where the wind whispers the secrets of times past. And the language of stone speaks an eloquent tribute to a god revered the world over. This is the Sun Temple of Konark in Odisha, India. Dedicated to Surya, the Sun God. Considered the healer, the source of life, the supreme soul. The Sun God is worshipped across the globe from Mexico to Egypt to China and called Helios in Greece, Sol in Germany and Surya in India. Built around the 13th century by King Narsimhadeva I, the great ruler of the Ganga dynasty and a sun worshipper, the Sun Temple of Konark is situated on 12 acres of land and was completed within a period of 12 years with 1200 artisans and 12,000 laborers. It is designed in the form of a magnificent chariot mounted on 24 wheels, each about 10 feet in diameter and drawn by seven mighty horses to take the sun god Surya across the heavens. Legend has it that it is here where the river Chandrabhaga meets the sea that Samba, the son of Lord Krishna, was cured of his leprosy by Surya after a penance of 12 years. It is said that the place where Samba consecrated a statue of the sun god is where the majestic sun temple of Konark currently stands. The word Konark is a combination of two words. Kona means Kona and Arka means the sun god. The words combine to mean the corner of the sun god. The lions at the entrance represent pride. They are seen crushing an elephant that represents money. And beneath each elephant there is a human being suggesting how pride and money can crush and lead to the downfall of man. The Nritya Mandap is where offerings were made to the sun god in the form of dance and art. Here, the first rays of the sun hit the sun temple and go into the Jagmohana and the inner sanctum. The elaborate carvings here describe the social life of the temple dancers. The Jagmohana is a majestic gathering hall with a roof that originally stood at 140 feet. It is a terraced pyramid roof with string cornices and figures of gods and goddesses. Konark has felt the ravages of time. In 1903, the Jagmohana was completely sealed and filled with sand to prevent it from collapsing. The Jagmohana leads to the inner sanctum. The inner sanctum had a pyramid roof that stood proud at 227 feet. It was destroyed in 1628 by the army of Bakhtiar Khan. According to legend, a 52-ton magnet was placed at the top and the statue of the sun god made of iron floated in the air as a result of this magnetic field. However, this myth is unsubstantiated and no evidence of this magnet has been found. The chariot wheels are also sun dials and are read in the anti-clockwise direction. If you place a finger at the center of the axle, the shadow will fall at the edge of the wheel, accurately telling the time. The sun dials are also full of sculptures that are a social commentary of the time. The sculptures impart knowledge to all age groups on subjects ranging from warfare to politics to erotica. At the back of the sanctum is the Chaya Devi temple, believed to be in honor of one of the wives of the sun god, Surya. The sun temple is central to the tourism of the area. Konark hosts an annual five-day dance festival against the backdrop of the magnificent chariot of the sun god. 
Konark is truly the coming together of the finest minds of the time in the fields of astronomy, architecture, engineering and sculpture to create a marvel that the world had never seen before. As the sun sets over Konark, the temple patiently waits for dawn. Tomorrow, the first rays of the sun will hit it and the sun temple will reveal its magnificence again. <laughs>